National Liaisons for Save One here in America. I am going to talk very briefly about the political climate in the U.S. right now and touch also on what Becky had shared last week about growing weary and well-doing. If you are on social media at all, you've seen a lot of stuff. Much of it is untrue. Some of it is physically impossible. And if we stop to argue with everything we see on social media, we are going to grow weary. We are called to pray, to pray for those in authority over us, and God didn't specify a political party. He said to pray for those in authority over you. We're called to worship. This is where our anger and our frustration and our hurt can be put at the throne of Jesus and left. And we're told to walk in love. And when we follow these steps and when we're directed by the Holy Spirit of when we should speak and when we should stay silent, that's when we're going to win battles in our communities. And it starts in our own communities. I often think of something we were told when we were going through training for a pregnancy care center. The leader told us, acknowledge the lie, but speak the truth. And that's a powerful statement. We can acknowledge what is being said without arguing with it. And we can speak truth without being rude. I just want to encourage everyone and myself that we can win this battle. We are in the fight of our lives. And it's good. it could be fun.